The Kelman is an extreme triathlon. So it's a triathlon that has distances similar to the traditional full distance races, but in an environment that's completely mental. Extra elements of extremeness all over the course. It's a crazy adventure race for people who want to push themselves outside of their boundaries and experience something completely mental. <laughs> the swim is 3.4 kilometres in really cold Atlantic water. It's full of jellyfish, it's windy, it's squally and, and it's, uh, it's, it's an incredible experience. And then they ride 200k in crazy windy conditions. And then they're on a marathon over two Munros. It attracts all sorts of people, all sorts of fitness levels, all sorts of backgrounds, all sorts of sports they come from. It's such an adventure and it's such a, a, a challenge. If you have an interest in triathlon and in Scotland and landscape and travel and adventure, all of that stuff is in Kelp. So Kelpman is actually only my third triathlon. I don't love triathlon. I love being outside. I, I love making the most of the day. I love coming in and having tired feet and tired legs and having a nice warm drink and thinking, oh, I did that. That was great. Not always great at the time, but you're, most of the time you think it's great afterwards. Uh, I love feeling like I'm getting the most out of life. I, I love that feeling when you're tired and you've worked your body and you've worked your heart and you've had a good day out, you've had a good adventure. My brother was was really heavily into triathlon. He he was well known at, at this race. And I said, oh, I'd, I'd love to be fit enough to, to exercise somewhere like that. And his, he commented, oh, you should enter one day. And then as, as you know, we, we did lose him three years ago. It would, it would be really nice to see that through for him. <laughs> I've yet to, to imagine myself crossing that finish line without crying. I mean, honestly, it would be incredible if I could make it that far. <laughs> From Australia. <laughs> For me, the event is the end. The mental side to training, to getting up at four o'clock in the morning and going out, rain, hail or shine, uh, kind of complements the race day. It's a big journey just to get to the start line. I like to challenge myself to try to find my breaking point and my support person wants to see me cry. The thing that makes Catman so unique is the surroundings and the scenery. You are somewhere so remote that normal life seems so insignificant.
We chose this location because of its its remoteness. It, Torridon is spectacular visually, but it's also isolated, so to get here is, is a challenge. As you approach Torridon, it's a little bit like arriving in Jurassic Park. It opens up and there's this landscape that, that's so unfamiliar to you, and now you're here, you're in it. The outside world doesn't matter anymore. When I came out of the swim, I was relieved. First thing I'm thinking, okay, is just, just get to the bike and um, don't shout at my dad. He's doing his best to help me. It's quite tricky because it's completely different muscles and you go from being horizontal to then kind of using your leg muscles and it takes a bit of time to, to wake up. So the first five minutes of the bike is it's a little bit of a shock to the system. I remember the adrenaline rushing through my body because we need to use the adrenaline to the, to the advantage, not to kind of a detriment. Okay. Okay. Well now we can enjoy it. How are you feeling? Oh, that jellyfish. Yeah? Jellyfish. I think it's hard to quantify what I love about it. I think I love how hard it is. I'm not very good at swimming. For me, to do the swim is a real challenge. I love the bike and I love the run. I'm doing something that challenges me and then I get the reward afterwards. Really selfishly, since he's passed away, it's almost been like, do you know what, actually, he's, he's looking at me all the time now. He's with me every training session. I almost gave up triathlon when he died because tra training was really hard. It just, you know, it was, it was really hard. It, it made me think about it. He, I obviously could not, not think about him every time I went out training, but I've just maintained all the way through that he would be he would be gutted if if I gave up because of that. He'll get me round if it's at all possible. He'll get me round. Try not to think about it because it's going to be really windy. So <laughs> that is going to be five kilometres at a time. Better luck. Oh. Enjoy it. I was quite nervous about the bike because I have a new bike this year. When I first rode the, this bike, I thought, oh my goodness, I'm never getting on it again. It is so light, very reactive to the wind. First 30K just went past really quickly and I was just trying to find my rhythm. But as we were cycling along Loch Marie, already I could feel a crazy headwind and I was like, oh my goodness, this is the start of the day. Well, the bike section has 2,000 metres of climbing in it, which is, which is a lot. The difference we have here is the, the, it's a constantly rolling course, so you never get a rest. And the wind speed here is always high. So at some point in the course, they're going to have a headwind that's, that's going to make them want to give up the sport forever. <laughs> Yeah. 
Are we happy people? Yay! <laughs> I'm still warm, legs are still feeling okay. Um, I'm, I'm really happy. I'm feeling like just good, this is sparring. It's going alright then. Do we know what, what I'm like on time? Yep. 12 minutes ahead of schedule. I think this next one is quite hilly. Yeah. Oh, you're right about this one. Cheers. See ya. Alright. I'm a novice athlete, I, I really am. The, these events push me to the maximum, so whether I feel I'm in a zone, <laughs> it's, it's just more of a, I guess I just tick it off of, you know, there's there's only one or two things that are hurting at the moment, brilliant. I've got lots of things that aren't, let's go, let's go with that. There's always going to be times when you are a little bit tired or you're thinking you've got a long way to go, but you just have to be in the moment. Think about one pedal stroke, another another pedal stroke. Look at the view. Think about life. And just don't think about how long you've got to go. It went fast. It always goes fast. You think, oh, 200k, how can that go fast? It does, but then it came to the last 40k and the wind was unbelievable. I've never ridden my bike in conditions like that before. <laughs> On reflection now, it was a really good bike. Um, at the time, it was just survival. survival. Yeah. Yes, and I'm so proud of her. She's so strong in the wind. She just powers through. She's a powerhouse. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to the rest of the day. It's awesome. I mean, I was happy that the bike was over, but I knew it had taken a lot out of my legs. Right, turn right past that car down there. Okay, now I can enjoy it. First 10 minutes, I was thinking, okay, my legs aren't here, but they'll, they'll, they'll get here. They, they're used to this. But the headwind, again, this was unbelievable. I just kept thinking, okay, my legs will, they'll come round, they'll come round, just keep going, just keep going. But they, they weren't, they weren't coming. And then I, I was kind of fighting my way up the, up the hill, just trying to, trying to, trying to be confident. At this point in the race, this is where you find yourself. This is where you, you've got to have grit and know that you can do it. Just have that inner confidence that I'm going to, I'm going to fight this and I'm going to get through to the end. It's what makes you tough and it's what makes the race, the race. It's what makes Countman, Countman. They've been out all day in this, this landscape, absolutely hammering themselves. And then the relief, the relief to cross the finish line, they just, they just let it go. Um, but there's also a strange effect where 30 seconds later, after the tears and snorters and everything else, there's there's always elation. You know, they, they move to this level of emotion from down here to up here in 30 seconds. And then they'll say it's the best thing they've ever done. They'll always say that, even if that's clearly not true. <laughs> The, the way the support system works here and the way that families are welcome is, is, is quite unique to the, to, to the sport. They're not waiting to climb over a fence to give someone a hug, they're already doing it as they cross the finish line. Yeah, come on! It's our friends! We're here! 12k go! Well done, Ely, you're a hero! Come on, Ely, you got this! Wow! So proud!
it was honestly a just overwhelming experience and having my family there is just what made it so amazing and and so much more emotional everyone that i cared about was there which was just an amazing moment to share with everybody I, I find the end of races a bit sad because I don't have any more training. I don't, don't have another goal. I've reached that and I've ticked my box. Because you spend so much time and energy training for these events, you spend nine, six to nine months and then it's over. And I, for me, that's very emotional that it's over and I don't want it to be over. I want the next thing, I want the next race. Is that where it is? Is that where it is? Yeah. I promise you didn't finish. I promise you done it. Down here. Oh my God, Jenny, we're doing this. Oh. Okay. Yes. <laughs> oh. Oh. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. Can I cry now? Yes, <laughs> you can. You can explode now. It's no problem. Oh. <laughs> I've been really trying to keep a lid on it, like the whole time. I have. In the run-up to this, I've not been able to not cry thinking about crossing this finish line. Good work, well done. Man, thank you. Super stuff, well done. Done it, done it, done it, done it. Cheers! <laughs> but for us to see them come here and complete this event that we created 10 years ago, and have so much love for it, and know that we did that and we changed their lives, I think that's what, what is, is the best part for me is knowing that I've ruined many lives. <laughs> <laughs> <That's great. laughs>